So, so far we have now our item here. We have created the div, but we have to now create the items or the list item in there. And this is part three of this part here. So we're going to scroll down and start looking at our HTML plugin block here. So what I want to do here, and let's make sure we have a semicolon here. That would be far more neat. When we have this, I want to create a list item. So what I'm going to do now is let's say a constant and let's get first all the details that we need because what will, what will we need? We need the border color. We need the background color. We need the text. We need even the font color. And if ever we click on this, you can see here it is strike true. So we need all this additional information. So I'm going to work on making that now. So I'm going to say constant and then items. And I'm going to use a built-in functionality from chart.js here. This is absolutely phenomenal. Let's say chart.options.plugins.legend.labels. And then we're going to say a dot generate labels. And then in here, because it's the function, where exactly do we get this one? Is get the chart object. So I'm going to say chart this. Once we do this, we can say here the console log and you say items, save, refresh. Now you can see here if I open up the console log or the, the developer tab, we get all the information we need. We need the index or the line width, the point style if ever, etc., etc. The text, the colors, stroke style, everything is in here. And even if you can see, for example, this is hidden on Monday, that's the index zero, it says hidden false. If I click on this, what happens? We get a new update here, and then you will see here hidden equals true. So all this information, because we'll be needing this logic, is in here already. So that will mean that it becomes very easy for us to work on this. So what I want to do now is the following. I'm going to create a list item that we're going to insert in our unordered list. So the list item will be what exactly? Well, I'm going to say here, uh, oh, hold on before I even do this, because we have the array. I want to make sure we're going to use a for each loop because we need to have not only one list item for every point here or legend item, we should have one. So I'm going to say here, yeah, items that for each. So I'm going to loop through that. We're going to say for each item, what I want to do here is uh, oh, of course, we can do it like that. So for each item, what will I do? I'm going to say here, constant. We'll make a new constant. That's called the li. And that's basically the document dot uh, create element. And what are we going to create? Well, a list item. Because we want to have an individual list item for each legend, color, point, etc., etc. So once we have this, I want to give this also a proper class name. So go to here, li.className, and I just give it a simple class name, li, give it a more appropriate name, maybe legend list item or etc. etc. would make more sense. For me, I'm just making it as a demo. So once we have this, what I do want to do is I want to have, of course, the color of the box and all these other items as well. So we have to work on this and uh, what we need to do here then, of course, for all of that, we can, we don't have to really look through that. We can just put it outside and that would be very interesting because what we're going to do here is, well, just think about it. what do we need? We need a color box. Just look at this here. We need a color box and I want to make a circular color box. So we say color box, but do we need more? We need the text. And do we need anything else? I am not completely sure. However, what I do need to know is to make sure we're getting it in the right position. Because right now, if I just save this and refresh, you'll see that here, nothing has been created yet. Only the unordered list, or what about the list item? So we want to append that. So let's see how we can append this. So I'm going to say here, we have the unordered list. I say dot append child. 
And if I do this, I think I probably have to connect that. And as you can see here, the LI is not defined. All right, so let me double check here. That is, of course, that makes sense. Or maybe I need to even put it in there. Hold on, let me double check. All right, that is correct. My bad. Well, first of all, the LI is not allowed to be outside here. And all this here, what I first thought would be outside, needs to be in here. That makes honestly more sense. Because when we loop through that, we have the design of it. And all these designs will be based on the item or the specific item here. So it should be inside the loop. So my bad. So if I save this, let's see what we get. All right, we're getting now something of every specific one. And as you can see here, there are seven in total. And then if I do something like this, you can see we get this weird effect here. It keeps on making. So we will have to fix that one. I'm going to show you in the next video how we're going to fix that. And then we start to work on the color and all the design of our list item.